somebody told me I was acting like all three of the daughters, Cordelia and Regan. And, and I was like, what does that mean? So I had to read the play, and that's a very complicated play. I think it's a play within a play. But anyway, I came up with Lear, Sons, Old and Adults. I observed him holding court in the waiting room, or trying to, curved and defiant as a sickle. I asked him for his resume. He clears his throat and tells me that once he ruled the world, he insists his house in those days was larger than a double wide. But just lately, he's been down on his luck. I've heard it all before. And un as unkempt as a sea monster, Mr. Lear's hair is all lightning twisted, and his flip flops have seen better days. He removes his crown. It perches on his knee like a tarnished canary. Why does he want to work at his age? He cannot drive. His eyesight fails. My daughters are big shots in real estate. Top dogs at Century 21 and Coldwell Banker, and both know what I have been. But what is it he brings to the table? Well, like a venison, he stutters, a serpent's tooth unbroken. Mr. Lear creaks like a fury about to erupt. My youngest will tell you what business I have done. We have nothing for him. I stamp his paperwork. As he leaves, he slyly doffs his crown and asks me if I'd like to take lunch with him. He is older than God, and I have, seen, I have three more to see before quitting time. The next one is waiting. Mr. Lear, unadorned, draws his pension in the ring. Thank you. Thank you.